Can I touch you? Okay. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some strange videos that have left authorities worried. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more freaky content just like this. Our first clip of the day is a strange one uploaded by TikTok user Jezebel TikTok. Take a look. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Watching that again after the dog fetches the frisbee, it looks like it's playing around with someone. It looks like some kind of invisible force is grabbing the frisbee and that they're playing tug of war with the dog. This goes on for some time as the owner watches on, bewildered. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this bizarre footage set the comments section abuzz as people scramble to make sense of what's going on. The majority of people seem to agree that something's grabbed the frisbee and the dog is struggling to wrestle it free. <laughs> what are you doing? Some more grounded ideas suggested that the dog was just playing around or that the frisbee's blocking its view and it's walking awkwardly because of that. However, there's a distinct moment when the dog starts walking normally in a straight line. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> So what do you make of this curious footage? What's causing the dog to behave like this? Share your theories with the rest of the community in the comments section down below. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hey peeps, just a quick interlude to let you know today's episode is sponsored by Raycon and they've gone and hooked you guys up with a massive 15% off their everyday earbuds. I've been using Raycon's earbuds for a while now and they're amazing. They're compact, sleek, totally wireless, and the sound is fantastic. I use mine to listen to audiobooks and podcasts while going on walks. They're great for editing our videos too. You can pick up on every little sound, the creaks, the whispers, it's super crisp. With their optimized gel tips, the in-ear fit is perfect. It feels snug and comfortable and won't budge a bit while moving around. These bad boys also have a huge eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. They recharge wirelessly in this nifty little carry case. But don't just take my word for it, Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 49,000 five-star reviews. So these bad boys are about half the price of other premium brands that are on the market and they sound just as good. So head to buyraycon.com forward slash slapped ham, grab yourself 15% off. There's links in the description box below and I'll pin it in the comments. This next piece of CCTV footage was uploaded by Archivos del Infierno over on TikTok. It shows a young boy playing around in a yard when suddenly something strange happens. Watch. It looks like something pushes the boy in the back. If you slow it down, you can make out a shadow or transparent shape that appears just behind the boy. Some viewers said he merely stumbled, but that doesn't explain the strange shadowy figure behind the boy. Unfortunately, like a lot of mysterious clips floating around the internet, there's almost no accompanying information to run with. So for now, you'll have to watch the clip again and make up your own mind as to what's happening here.
Paranormies are an amazing paranormal investigation channel here on YouTube. They travel around North America researching and exploring notoriously haunted properties. And more often than not, they capture some pretty freaky things on camera. Oh my god! In this episode, the team goes to investigate an old cottage deep in the wilderness. That stereo too, right when that all happened? The owners of the property told the Paranormies team that they frequently hear strange noises, not only in the house, but also in the surrounding woods. Mysterious shadowy figures have also been seen lurking around the property, but they always vanish when someone goes to take a closer look. One of the owners, Sheila, can't explain what's going on on this remote property. While renovating the old cottage, she discovered some old photos that date back to the early 1900s. While browsing the old album, something strange happened to Sheila. When she started looking at an old black and white family portrait, she began to have a panic attack. She felt nauseous and lightheaded and almost blacked out. Sheila can't explain the strange episode and admits it could just be her imagination playing tricks on her. However, if this investigation is anything to go by, Sheila's panic attack could indeed have been brought on by something a little more sinister. The Paranormies team begins their night by setting up their equipment. It stinks in here like old house, you know what I mean? Like the old wood from whatever this place is. Very old, yeah. They take a look around the cottage. It's nice and it's warm though, thankfully. Oh, I what? actually saw. I don't believe in orbs or anything, but I just saw something whip past your head in real life. Like, like yeah, an orb. There's no dust in here. Not long into their investigation, things begin to take a turn for the strange, as bizarre activity is recorded upstairs. Take a look. Oh my god. That scared the shit out of me. Who are you? Holy Hi. My name is Jordan. This is Johnny. Um, can you tell me can you tell me what your name is? The rocking horse and chair are moving, seemingly all on their own. What is happening here? Can I touch you? Holy, Holy. Okay. Okay, can you hang on a second? We just need some kind of gear to talk with you. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Electric again. Again? Okay, can you stop? I heard a noise from behind me. It sounds like somebody's sitting on it. The activity subsides as quickly as it began and everything goes quiet. Stop. Grab a K2. Oh, I'm sweating. Okay. Okay, I'm not sleeping in that bed. Later in the night, the radio in the house begins to play up. It wasn't lit up before though. It wasn't, so it, it what? See? What, what? Did you see that? That was weird. Why did it do that? It's just been off this whole time. Trick before too. Mm -hmm. See, there it goes. Why is that? Is that you doing that? Who, who are you? That's weird. That is weird. Is there anything else that you like to do? You can tell us. It's like it's shutting off and turning on again. Then in another room, a tap turns on. Is something? The water? What is that? It sounds like the... Like, I hear water. water. Oh my god. So you like to play with electricity, faucets. While in the bathroom, more strange movement is recorded. Watch. Okay, so... Okay, we're gonna do a Ouija board session. That's okay. Oh Whoa. my god! Holy f that scared me. 
There's no way that I fucking moved that accidentally. No, you didn't. I was filming the whole thing. You didn't even touch it. Oh, my heart's beating so fast, man. The team didn't realize it at the time, but while they were checking out the movement of the plank of wood, something eerie can be seen in the window behind them. There's a set of eyes looking at us through the window, piercing red eyes, and... Two glowing red dots that resemble eyes. It just makes you wonder, was that the creature that Sheila was talking about that was making these weird sounds, whether it was something mimicking an animal? The team can't explain this sighting. They looked for lights outside, but nothing could be found. It's almost like something was watching them through the window. Holy I am my hands are... That scared the out of me. Hours later, one of the team heads out to investigate the woodshed all alone. This is where the homeowners have heard some very strange noises at all hours of the night. While searching the area, he hears this. Now Jordan went to bed, but I felt it was necessary for me to come check out this woodshed where they hear a lot of the sounds between the two houses over there. I heard some crackling in the bush that way. I can't see without it. Oh my God. I shouldn't even be out here. Oh God. Listening again, it sounds like someone says, okay. I shouldn't even be out here. Oh God. I shouldn't even be out here. Oh God. Hello? Then what happens next left the Paranormies team completely shocked. Watch. That's where we saw the figure. Oh my God. Holy f Just as I was saying that, it's right there. Slowing that down, a dark figure moves past the window. Oh my God. Holy f Just as I was saying that, it's right there. The creepiest part is Jordan, the other team member, is asleep all alone inside the cottage. He has no idea that a dark figure is upstairs. Just as I was saying that, it's right there. Jordan is sleeping. Holy I have to call him. There is a part two to this investigation, which I highly recommend you check out. I'll chuck a link to it in the description box down below. Oh my God. Oh my God. Did you see what I saw? Man, there's somebody like, it looked like a reflection of somebody standing up here. Oh my God. There's something particularly eerie about allegedly haunted toys. Clips of moving dolls always seem to go viral. It seems they leave people wondering whether the item itself is cursed or whether there's a ghostly child playing with the toy. In this piece of home security footage uploaded by Tatan Mysterio on TikTok, we see a woman browsing her phone at home. Watch what happens. As you can see, the teddy bear begins to move. Subtly at first, making the woman with the phone second guess what she saw out the corner of her eye. It then moves more noticeably and the woman gets up to run before the clip abruptly ends. This is another little viral clip with no info attached, so it's hard to speculate further. Most people in the comments section were certainly freaked out by the eerie movements of the bear, but ultimately it's impossible to know what's going on here for sure. So I'll throw this out to you, the viewers. Let me know your take on this in the comments section down below. With all the death and sickness hospitals see, it's no wonder many people claim that they're heavily haunted. 
Healthcare workers often comment on our videos saying that they've seen some really eerie things in the hospitals they work in. This next clip seems to back up these claims. Reddit user Bored Guy Online wants to keep the location of this hospital private for the sake of keeping his job. He says the security guard he works with often spots strange things while doing his rounds at night time. The guard would see mysterious things so often he thought he was losing his mind. That's when he dared his fellow workmate to take a walk around at night time and film what he sees. The OP did end up walking around the hospital at night time while filming. While he thought it was unnerving, nothing particularly strange seemed to happen, or so he thought. Upon reviewing the footage, one segment stood out. Take a look. Watching that again slowed down at the end of one of the hallways, a dark figure peeks out from around the corner. The Redditor claims that this part of the hospital isn't in use. It's late at night and no one else is around. So what's to be made of this eerie sighting? After seeing the footage, a lot of Reddit users shared their own experiences in other hospitals. A lot of comments described very similar sightings, shadowy, almost transparent figures lurking out the corner of their eyes. Sometimes called shadow people, this bizarre phenomenon has been reported all around the world. Often people who suffer from sleep paralysis or insomnia report encounters with dark beings that stare at them from the corner of the room. Time and time again, witnesses will describe almost the exact same experience. So is this sighting a genuine shadow person, or is there another way to explain what's happening here? Unless more info comes to hand, it's likely we'll never know for certain what was lurking down this hospital's hallway. Before we get to that number one spot, remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our mysterious and creepy videos. This next eerie photo was captured by one of our viewers, Vittore Massaro. He was browsing a store and taking photos for his wife who was at home at the time. He uploaded the photos to the cloud and didn't think anything of them until some years later when he decided to review them. That's when he noticed something strange. If you look to the right hand side of the image, there's an eerie woman in the mirror's reflection. She's grey and almost translucent and is staring right at the camera. Her clothes look to be from a different time and she doesn't match the surroundings at all. The image was taken in Galveston, Texas, which is reported to be one of America's most haunted cities. In 1900, an enormous hurricane hit the greater Galveston area. It ripped through the city with 145 mile per hour winds, which is around 230 kilometers, smashing homes and businesses. It's estimated that 7,000 buildings were destroyed in the storm, leaving around 10,000 people homeless. A further six to 12,000 people died tragically in the hurricane. At the time, it was the deadliest natural disaster in US history. It's this enormous loss of life that has led many to believe that Galveston is heavily haunted. Some say that if you're downtown in the middle of the night, you can hear screaming and pleas for help, but there's no one ever there. Other campfire legends say you can see the victims of the storm staring back at you from reflections in glass or mirrors throughout the city. It's these stories that make Masaro's photo all the more chilling. So could this really be a woman who lost her life in the great storm of 1900? Now if you can't get enough of our content, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out that scary video on the top there. Otherwise, we have massive scary curated paranormal playlists right there that'll keep you entertained. Now leave us a comment down below, smash that thumbs up button, 
And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 